welcome back to the channel. So we pick up where we left off last week and we are leaving Pittsburgh and heading towards Elkhart, Indiana. We weren't uh, on the road too long and Ashley noticed some flopping, uh, flapping around in the passenger side mirror on the uh, side of the camper. So we had to pull over on the side of the road to check out what it was. We didn't think about it at the time. Um, should have brought the camera back to show you. It happened to be the black box. This is underneath the door. We uh, installed the step above steps on our camper and we installed one of those under step boxes and somehow the the lock for the door just broke right off and it was the door that was flopping around in the in the wind that we saw in the mirror. We got lucky though, the only thing that we lost was you know one plastic wheel chalk. Everything else that we had in there are, are leveling blocks and extension cords and, and the uh, 50 to 30 amp adapter you know was still inside the box luckily. So I closed it up and used some of uh, that door bond tape to tape it shut and we hit the road again. So we stayed at Elkhart Campground when we uh, got to Elkhart, Indiana. It was, a, uh, it was a really nice campground. A lot of sights. We were there for actually the uh, open range coming home rally. You know, large dog park. I had a couple bath houses laundry facility just overall it was a really nice park uh, if we were in the area again we'd, we'd definitely stay there again a big uh, big rec room rec hall area swimming pool mini golf experience a uh, tornado warning while we were there. The uh, tornado siren started going off. It was right around midnight one night. A big storm moving through. A lot of rain and uh, thunder but luckily there was no tornado in our area. Another great place that uh, you could have taken shelter was the laundry room. So uh, inside this laundry room, it's a nice size laundry room. You have eight washers, many dryers. You have a sink that you can uh, rinse items out um, before you put them in the wash. Here's the dog park. Tango loved the dog park, obviously, because he gets to be off the leash and run around. Nice big area. Kind of been nice that they divided it into uh, two sections, you know, that way you can separate dogs if need be. He loves playing ball, okay. but his uh, favorite activity good. is playing frisbee. He loves to run and uh, jump and catch the frisbee. Also, while we were in the area, we did a tour of a couple of the more ride factories. These are, we've been to more ride before in uh, downtown Elkhart and did the tour where they do the independent suspension. This is a different factory. This is over on uh, Stainless Drive. A lot of automation, a big uh, powder coat facility.
really cool getting to see you know, how they make all the different products, all the automation they have, the paint boosts and sprayers and robots that they, that they use to make all the different products and then all in the end how everything was assembled. This whole area here was nothing but the, uh, the step above steps. Try to make hundreds, if not thousands, of these things a day. If you're in the Elkhart area or Shipshawana area, you definitely have to check out the uh, Shipshawana flea market or Shipshawana trading place. Definitely a cool place to go to. It's only open on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, pretty much from uh, end of April till the end of September. But just rows and rows and rows of vendors and uh, flea market type setups, anything you can imagine, uh, they have it there pretty much. Definitely a cool place to uh, to go, check out, walk around. It's free, doesn't cost anything to get in. So you just go there and walk around and check out all the different shops that they have. So this little area has um, a lot of signs. I could have spent hours in here just going through them and picking out what to put in the camper. Andy Riley. Hello. Hello. For people that farmers in the area, they have uh, you know, livestock auctions. I think just one one day a week bring in uh, livestock that get auctioned off. Overall, definitely a definitely cool place to check out, so if you're going to be in the area, put that on uh, your list of things to do. Another place you definitely have to check out was the uh, Rise and Roll Bakery. Fortunately, the day that we went there to 
check it out and get some rolls. Um, I got a power outage. Ah, uh, there you go, see? Closed due to power outage. But we did end up getting some uh, cinnamon buns from another location they have over in Elkhart. And we had those for breakfast that next morning and they were they were pretty good. Definitely would add that to your list of things to do when you're in the uh, Elkhart or Shipshawana area. No, the nice thing to do is just drive around on these uh, you know, some of these farm roads. Even if you're taking a shortcut to avoid some of the major main roads, uh, they get kind of backed up with traffic at times. Just driving around, looking at the farmland, it's something that we like to do. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Like this video, it means a lot to us. Hit that bell notification so you can notify of our next video because we're doing some work to the camper. So stay tuned. See what happens.